This video is going to be really important. It's probably why I'm infinite radiance to begin with. Obviously, it's amazing to see how we can actually change an image's balance. However, one thing people don't know is you could use a tool like this to actually improve your masking abilities. For instance, in the commercial world, I always ran into a problem where sometimes tones would be very similar to each other, especially when you're trying to mask a particular image. What if you can increase the transitions between those tones in order for you to mask a little bit better? And today we're going to talk about that as well. Obviously, luminosity masking has its place and you should definitely use that. But in this particular example, let's say that you want to actually mask this yellow area a little bit better in order for you to manipulate those colors. How can you do that with infinite radiance? Well, let me show you. It's really fascinating. So for instance, let's say that I want to change the contrast between the yellow and the surrounding colors. Well, all I need to do with this tool is increase the yellow here and automatically you know, makes the blues a little bit darker. You can see from the actual channel mixer itself, it retains the perfect value of the total image and the balance. However, it increases the contrast between yellow and the blues. Now I can push that even further and go to say like 200, which is what I want for this, which is one of the reasons why we added such a strong, intense slider. When I turn this on and off, you can see there's such a actually a huge difference between the yellow and the surrounding area. This is fantastic because now if I say convert this to black and white for a second, you can see the difference between them. And this is really, really handy because now what I can do is go ahead and go to select color range. And when I go and select the yellow colors here, and increase my fuzziness for a second, I actually have a really detailed rich selection no matter how complex this area is and here is the best part about this i'm going to go ahead and click on this group here and now this with this group selected i'm going to click on the mask button and now when i click on option or alt if you're on a pc click on the mask you'll see it's actually selecting this entire area with all these complex branches this would have been really really annoying to do manually and this is obviously an example that most people can understand, but this comes into use whenever you have other examples that you really want to make advanced selections with when it's difficult to do so. Um, whether it's skies, whether it's transition between sunsets and so forth. So now that I have this group here and this mask, what I could do with this is I can turn off the infinite radiance because I'm not going to be using it for the purpose, anything other than making a mask. Now I can go to my adjustment layers. I can add a curve if I want to. I can increase the curve. You can see it increases the yellow, but also the reds. If you don't want that to happen, I can go to my mask again and simply go ahead and use a regular brush set to black with 100% opacity and flow. Let me change my hardness to 0% here for a second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just hide away the reds because I don't want to actually impact them. Now, this image was shot by Akash Bali, who was a really great photographer, and he really had this nice stranger tones looking vibe going on. So I said, you know, I really would love to use this image to show people what he could do. So there we have it. You can see the yellows. You can see the way that they're hitting the, the branches here. Now, because I have this folder, I can add anything else in the folder too. I can add a hue and saturation if I want to, to increase the saturation of the yellows coming through. I can decrease them if I want to which I, I don't think I want to do. Um, you know, you can also go ahead and uh, go to select and you can change, you know, different things by going to select and mask if you want to. Um, you can feather the selection, etc. So those are some of the things to keep in mind when you're working with masks. You can do so much with them once they're already established. I can also change the hue of the, the area itself in case I want more yellow, more red, etc. Um, I can also go ahead into the curves and increase or decrease the curve as well. So you can change the interpretation of the image. I can increase the bright point of the image as well and so forth. So this should give you a good example of how we went about and did this. Um, ultimately, first what I did was I added a radiance adjustment layer, really pushed the yellows here, uh, which was really, really handy for me. And then after that, I went ahead and used select color range, made a selection. Then I added a folder, added a mask um, from that selection. Then I just simply added the curves and the hue saturation within that folder. 
and brush black anywhere else that I didn't want it to affect the image. And there you go. I'm able to get some really nice advanced masking. I can also do the same for the reds and tone that down if I want to. This gives you a really good idea of what's possible. And keep in mind, it's also making a really nice selection of these yellows in the branches really, really nicely. Anyways, I hope you found this useful. And I can't wait to see how you use this technique in your work.